Hey guys, this is a question set video for the chapter Operations on Numbers. In this video, I'll be taking about five tricky questions. Let's get started with our first question. Which natural number is nearest to 9495, which is completely divisible by 75? Actually, 9495 is not divisible by 75. The question asks you a number which is closest to 9495 which is divisible by 75. So let's actually divide 9495 by 75. Now this reminder should have been 0 had this number 9495 been divisible by 75. Now what number is nearest to 9495 which is divisible by 75? To find that out we will be using this formula which we know which is dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus reminder we know this formula in this case div dividend is 9495 the divisor is 75 the quotient is 126 plus the reminder is 45 now as I've told you that had this number been divisible by 75, this reminder should have been 0. To make this 0, let's subtract 45 from both sides, from both left hand side and the right hand side. So 9495 minus 45 is equal to 75 into 126 plus 0. Now this number will be divisible by 75 because the reminder is 0 here according to our equation. So 9495 minus 45 would give you 9450 so the correct option here is option B 9490 question number 2 what smallest number should be added to 4457 so that the sum is divisible by 6 so you have to add some number some small number to this number 4457 so that the sum of that number and this number is divisible by 6. To solve this question again let's divide this number by 6. So we have 4, 4, 5, 7 divided by 6. So 6, 7 the 42 and uh, the difference is 2, 5 comes down, 6, 4 is 24, 1 comes down, 6, 2 is 12, the remainder is 5. Now, if you observe carefully, to make this number divisible, you'll have to either add something to it or subtract something to it. So it is asked that you have to add something to this number. At this point, just to go one step back, because we were here, had this been some another number that would have been divisible by 6, this number would also have been divisible by 6. So we have to add we have to add something to this number. Now go on adding numbers starting from 1, 2, 3. If I add 1 here, this becomes 18. And 18 is perfectly divisible by 6. So this would be 6, 3 is 18. And the reminder would come 0. So in this case, if I add 1 here, it, it has to be reflected to the top. So I'll have to add 1 to the dividend also. So 4, 4, 5, 7 plus 1. It is divisible by 6. So the smallest number that, that should be added to 4, 4, 5, 7 so that the sum is divisible by 6 is 1. So the answer is 1. Okay, time to solve the third question. We have been given the difference of two numbers. So let the numbers be a and b. So we get a minus b equals to 1, 3, 6, 5. Now, on dividing the larger number by smaller number, we get 6 as quotient and 15 as reminder. So let the larger number be a and the smaller number be b. So we are dividing the larger number by the smaller number. So we are dividing a by b. So from the division formula, we have dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder. So according to what we have been given, the dividend is the larger number. So it is A 
equal to the divisor is the smaller number that is b quotient is 6 and the remainder we are getting is 15 so from from this equation that we have we get a is equal to 1365 plus b now we can equate these two equations we have a on both the left hand side so we can equate these equations so we can get 1365 plus b is equal to 6b plus 15 now this can be solved for b and I'm not going to solve it completely here I'm just going to uh, get the value of b by solving this equation so b comes out to be 270 now you can easily find the value of a from this equation the value of b we have is 270 plus 1365 and the value comes out to be 1635 so the correct answer here is 1635 option b okay on to the fourth question now you can solve this question using the division formula the dividend equals to divisor into quotient plus reminder but that would take time so my suggestion would be to try all these options you have to find the number n which is given in these options which is one of these four options if it is divided by 2 the remainder would come as 1 and if it is divided by 5 the remainder would come as 2 so find n let's divide each of the options given by 2 and 5 and the one whose remainder come as 1 and 2 respectively would be our answer so let's start with 1009 if it is divided by 2 the remainder is actually 1 and if it is divided by 5 the remainder is 4 if you divide it by 5 the remainder would come as 4 so 1009 is not going to fit is not our answer let's divide 1007 by 2 the remainder would come as 1 and if you divide 1007 by 5 you get the remainder as 2 just divide it you, you'll definitely get remainder as 2 so the option here is yielding us the reminders 1 and 2 so this is the correct answer now the fifth and final question how many natural numbers are there between 22 and 101 which are divisible by 6 and you have your options so let's list a few numbers which are between 22 and 101 and are divisible by 6 so 22 is not divisible by 6 23 is not divisible by 6 24 is divisible by 6 so the first number in our series actually we will be getting a series here so the first number in that series is 24 the next number just add 6 to it would be 30 the next number would be 36 and so on and the last term here would be let's subtract 1 from 101 and go back till we find a number which is divisible by 6 so 100 is not divisible 99 is not divisible 98 is not 97 is not divisible I think 96 is divisible so we have the series we have the first term and the last term this series is actually an arithmetic progression and here the difference is equal to 6 the difference is of 6 now you have to find the total numbers which are there in this series just use the formula you know the last term so you can use nth term is equal to a plus n minus 1 d this is the formula for the nth term so the last term would give us the number of terms so the nth term last term is 96 is equal to a which is the first term this is a the first term is 24 plus n minus 1 into d d is 6 now solving this would give n is equal to 13 if you solve this n would come out as 13 so that's it the answer is 13